boom, baka, boom, boom, boom. Everybody right now has dreams, don't they, guys? All right, everybody in the NFL, I have a dream of making it in the NFL. I got a dream of winning a Super Bowl. I got a dream of being in a Pro Bowl. I'm really not into dreams anymore, okay? I'm into fucking nightmares. You guys with me on that? <laughs> Mosh pit. You got to end somebody's dream. You got to take their job. You got to take their heart. Are you guys clear about this NFL shit now? We're not trying to go to the Peach Bowl. We're not trying to go to the Gator Bowl or the Blue Bonnet Bowl. We're trying to go to the Super Bowl. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down, and laugh when he's conquered and won. Just win, baby. I love it. You know, I sit in my office and I just shake. I get so excited. <laughs> What's good, Raider Nation? I've been gone for a while, but I'm back from my little vacation. I'm excited to get back to work. You know, big thank you to everybody who wished me well on my trip. I had a great time. Drank a lot of beer, got a lot of sun, enjoyed the water, enjoyed some friends and family. So I had a blast, man. Thank you to everybody who wished me well. So we've got a lot of news that I missed. So, you know, let's not waste any time. Let's get into this. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to go kind of quick with it. Um, and I'm sure you guys have seen most of this stuff already, but I'm going to report on it anyways, just to make sure we're all caught up and to make sure I'm caught up really. I mean, I've, I've been gone without cell service for a week, so I got to get back in the game here. So let's get it cracking. Welcome back, Ade Aruna. This is an underdog kind of guy. I know a lot of people were rooting for him. Dude's from Nigeria, so he's got kind of a cool story. Um, I'm pulling for him to make the squad, and I know a few guys uh, were disappointed in the comments saying, you know, oh man, we let go of Aruna. So he's got a second chance. We'll see what he can do with it. The Raiders added another DN to the squad. Former first round pick Dayton Jones. A veteran guy, bounced around the league a little bit here and there. You know, this guy's been in the league since 2013. Been here a while, hasn't really done much. Um, he's appeared in 67 games, but only nine starts to his career. So I don't see this guy making the squad. I think we got enough talent without him. Um, but we'll see what happens. I think this is more just a camp depth play. Next piece of news I know we can all be excited about. Uh, Brian Edwards was practicing with the first team offense. Now, this doesn't mean he's going to be starting. Doesn't mean he's going to be taking anybody's job yet. But it is good to see him, you know, getting in there with the first team. Obviously, the coaches see some bright spots and see some potential. So they're working him in with the first team. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I think he's going to be more of a rotational piece. I don't see him taking anybody's job just yet. But I think he can ball, man. This kid's a, this kid's a good football player. So I'm excited to see what he's got. We've got a lot of receivers on this roster right now that can play. And, you know, I thought it was interesting that Gruden was talking up Nelson Aguilar saying, you know, Randall Cobb had a change of scenery and that helped him out. Um, and he thinks that Nelson Aguilar can, you know, have the same kind of success here that Randall Cobb did when he moved. So there is a lot of people on this squad that are making a push for a starting job. There's only so many spots. So I think we're going to really see uh, a wide receiver group by committee this year. The one guy that I see... You know, never coming off the field is Henry Ruggs. But other than that, I think Tyrell Williams will rotate out with Brian Edwards. I think we're going to see some Aguilar this year. We're going to see some Zay Jones. Obviously, Renfro is going to be in there on third down. Um, Zay Jones has been working hard all off season, So I wouldn't mind seeing him make the team. It's just going to be a matter of, you know, who fits best where and, and what our roster is going to look like. You know, how many wide receivers are going to take. You know, Zay would be, end up being that sixth receiver. And I think we take six receivers into the regular season. So this receiver group is much improved from last year. And, you know, it's good to have some competition. I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, and I'm excited to see him battle it out in camp and excited to see what Gruden's going to do with all his weapons. And one of my favorite signings of the offseason, Nick Kwiatkowski, says he's stoked. He's ready to wear that green dot 100% of the time. You know, he did it part-time in Chicago. And, 
you know, he's ready to take the next step. And he was really excited to become a Raider and to be that guy for us. And, you know, he's been working alongside Littleton and he's got nothing but good things to say so far. So I'm really excited for this kid and uh, I want to see him succeed. You know, he's got to adjust to a different defense, but he says he loves the way that Gunther coaches. He thinks the scheme is great and, you know, he's excited to be here and get to work. So good for Nick, man. This guy plays with fire, so look out for Nick to be a breakout player for us. Cleveland Farrell is healthy. He's put on a bunch of muscle. He looks strong. He looks fast. And he's excited, ready to be a cornerstone of our defense and, you know, really show uh, Raider Nation why he deserved that first-round tender and, you know, prove to himself and his coaches and his teammates and, and all of us that he deserves to be here. And, you know, I'm excited for Clea. I think he's a really good guy and, He's a great team guy for sure, and that's one of the biggest reasons why we took him where we took him. So, you know, he battled sickness, and he was underweight all year, and we did a lot of things with him. It moved him inside all over the place. He played a huge role, and I think he did better than people think he did. You know, maybe the numbers weren't there, but he did a lot of work that went unnoticed. So let's look for Klee to have a breakout year and, and really step up to the plate. Now, Gunther mentioned last year that Klee was really focusing too much on the mental aspect of the game instead of just letting loose and letting his physicality carry him. Um, you know, it's a rookie adjustment. He says, you know, this year he's a lot more confident and he feels like Rod Marinelli's helped him out a lot. So let's go Cleveland Farrell, man. I know we're all pulling for him. You know, people are already labeling him a bust and I think it's way too early for that. And like I said earlier, I think a lot of what he did last year went unnoticed. So, you know, I think we should all be pulling for Klee. And I think we'll see some improvement in year two for sure. So some more good news on the DN front. Max Crosby has been cleared from the from the COVID list. Um, I still am unsure whether he had COVID or if he was just in contact with somebody who had it. But um, this went pretty quick. So I'm sure that he tested negative and it was just a precautionary thing. He's back out there. He's practicing. He's good to go. So that's great news for the nation. Now we got to talk John Abram. Man, this dude, I was so excited to see him last year. And like I, I was at that Denver game. I saw him deliver that hit. And I was so sad to see him leave that game. And obviously, we got the news that he would be out for the whole year. So this is you know kind of his rookie year, his, his new debut. Uh, he got to sit back, really watch and learn. And he developed a really good, you know, mental aspect of the game and the scheme and all that. So it's time for him to put it together. And so far, people have been impressed. You know, coaches are saying that he's going to be a physical threat. He's going to be a leader on our defense and he can do it all. I'm excited to see this defense all put together and all healthy. And so is Gruden. You know, he's watching the team play and he's surprised. You know, he's, he says we've got a lot of speed. We look good. We got good rushers. We got good cover guys. And we got a lot of good young guys. So uh, I'm super stoked. I cannot wait to see this defense on the field. I think we're going to play fast. We're going to play hard. And I think we're going to get a lot of turnovers this year, which is, you know, a huge key to being a, su a successful team. And speaking of dudes getting healthy, Tyrell Williams is back to 100%. Feels great. Feels strong. Feels fast. Um, we all saw what he did in the first few games. He was absolutely balling out before that foot started acting up. So this is great news, too. Uh, a healthy Tyrell Williams is going to help us out a lot. You could really kind of tell the decline after his foot started acting up. He wasn't as crisp on his routes and was dropping balls. I think it was in his head a little bit. So super stoked for Tyrell to get back out there and be healthy. All right, moving on. You guys know how I felt about LaMarcus Joyner last year. I thought he was a huge letdown. Um, I guess we can attribute that to adjusting to a new system and a new scheme and, you know, new players around him. He says it feels confident going into this year, and so we should look for him to step it up, you know, shape up or ship out. He said that he felt like a rookie again, and, you know, I can kind of understand that, but he says he's a lot more comfortable now, and also with the addition of Corey Littleton, his former teammate, I think he feels, you know, like he's getting back on track and, Let's let's treat last year as his his re rookie year, and it's time for him to you know be second year in the system and really show us why we went out and you know caught that fish in free agency and spent that money on him. I thought this one was kind of interesting, but I don't think it means as much as it kind of leads on to to mean. Um, John Gruden's been impressed with Mariota. 
says that he's doing really well, you know, scrambling, running the football, which is something they've wanted more out of in that aspect from Derek Carr. Um, for the most part, this is a little bit of fluff. This doesn't mean that Mariota is going to be taking Carr's job or anything like that. Carr is our starter. He's been in the system now. This is his third year. He, we're going into this season with Derek Carr. And also, the thing is, when Derek does run, he's pretty successful. Unless he's going to the corner of the end zone, you know, to fumble. But, you know, besides that, the guy can move pretty well. So, hopefully this pushes him and he can learn a little bit from Mariota and get out the pocket and, you know, make a play when the, when the line breaks down or the play breaks down. So, I want to end this one on a good note. We all love Darren Waller, man. And uh, John Gruden loves him, too. He says, we think he's a superstar. We think he's a great tight end. You know, two guys just got paid, George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. We already extended Waller uh, last year, so we've got our guy locked up. And if you don't know Darren Waller's story, I suggest you go check it out. You know, he came back from addiction and, you know, a really dark place that a lot of people don't come back from. So it's really, really great to see him succeeding and to hear these great words from Gruden. You know, really makes me happy. I, I'm really rooting for Darren Waller, and I'm stoked that we have him. So that'll wrap it up for the news, guys. Hey, I'm so glad to be back. Um, I had a great time, a much deserved break. But um, I was missing you guys. I was missing, you know, working here in the studio, get the news out. And um, I got big, big plans, you know. Uh, I told you guys my plans for the Raiders history series. Uh, I haven't narrowed it down to exactly who the first video is going to be, but I got a few really good ideas. So, you know, look for that in the future. Uh, I'm going to get get to work on that tomorrow after I get a little more rest from the week because you know it was it was a scorcher out there at the river so I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice I'm a little worn down I'm gonna take the time get some rest come back fresh and I can't wait to you know start putting out some great content for you guys so as always peace out much love Raider Nation till next time <laughs>